What's going on guys? Just making an updated video of my G-Pole Tripes. Common name, Chaco Golden Knees. I've had to put them in individual cups now. I had a little bit of an escape take place last night right before I went to work. I made a video about that, so you can check that out. But The bin on the left has one Chaco Golden Knee in each deli cup. And those are double stacked. Bin on the right has 10 Chaco Gold Knees in each deli cup. I've got orders going out, so I just kept them on the right separate. So since I got to pack them up and send them out Monday. They are now starting to molt. I've already, I'd say predominantly the majority of them has already molted into third end stars now. So they're getting bigger. I keep mine in heat cabinets and when you keep the proper temperature and humidity tarantulas grow a lot faster in case you didn't know that this is one individual deli cup it's gonna be hard to see in there as you can see all these are third end stars in here are a lot bigger now at the moment I've got the price still at five dollars a piece but I am about to have to raise that of course now that they have been put in individual cups well that took a lot of time and my time's precious and you have gotta at least you know make the money for your time of course and then I've got to look at the fact of feeding all these individual cups every week and watering them and that's not exactly going to be a five minute task. <laughs> that is of course in case for you guys that don't know about breeding that is the reason why the guys that are in this hobby that actually breed sell these for so much as babies. You know the average G Poltripe sling sells for about fifteen to twenty dollars. It does seem like a bit much when you think about it but when you think about all the hard work that goes into it, actually having to pop open hundreds of caps every single week, watering them, cleaning it out, you know, putting food in it, watching the food because you can't just leave a live cricket inside of a container. It could actually kill the sling if the sling, for whatever the reason, decides not to eat at the moment. So it does take some time. So I understand why the average guy is, is selling them for what they're selling them for. The only reason I'm selling mine for $5 at this point, I'm trying to move them fast, so that's a wholesale price, um, for two reasons. For one, I don't want to have to feed hundreds of slings. <laughs> uh, for two, I just want to bless people, you know, that maybe can't afford $15 or $20 right now for a tarantula, so... Uh, you know, I think it would be cool if I was on the other end to be able to get a Chaco Gold Knee for only $5. So I'm trying to keep that price down the best I can. But of course, I, you know, now that they're molting and they're getting even bigger, and like I said, the work's going to increase, I am going to have to increase that before long. So you definitely want to get your orders in fast if you're wanting to get them at the wholesale price of $5 a piece. Um, I might have already said this, but just in case someone that watches this video is concerned the reason I have the right bin or right tub filled with like 10 in each individual I'm shipping those out I'll be straw packing them real soon those are orders that I have to fill all right guys have a good day if you're interested just hit me up and we'll sell you some slings and get them in the mail on the way to your house have a good day